This is you here, right? That's me. Yeah. All right, what were we looking at today? I was uh, wanting the, the shifter cables replaced. Okay. Uh, when was the last time you just had a basic tune-up? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's a little bit dirty. I think that maybe these are getting gunked up, right? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah I bought the bike here and just haven't. When did you get this? Um, oh, seven, I think. Oh, a seven, okay, good. When you first got the bike, did you change? Now you might notice my fellow Magic Team member, Matt Schick, behind this workbench in the background. We didn't want the area to look completely deserted, so we placed Matt here and had him wear headphones so we didn't get involved in our conversation. You know, you have it all cleaned out and then yeah. start using probably, the, oil, probably. the proper oil. Yeah, as much as anything else, it's probably gunked. Yeah, there's a valve right here, tiny little valve. Yeah, there was, it was dirt, oh, there you go, look at that, that's pretty dirty. I never knew there was it. what a valve. Yeah, you know what we'll do? We should just empty out the whole thing and just give it a, a new, you know, an oil change, really. I didn't know it had a reservoir. Oh yeah, it starts up here. It gets poured through here and it's going in here, it's going into your chains. And it, it, every time you pedal, you're actually pumping it through the bike. Here, I'll show you what you do and you'll never have to worry about this again. Put your bike up, right, if you can, or you can have someone hold it and just aim it directly down. Once it's down, you'll actually be able to feel it better. It's a little easier to see when it's down too, right? Get a pan, get a funnel, and just, there you go. Oh, look at how dirty that is. That's why. This should look really clear. You know, this should be like vegetable oil. Changing the oil on the bike now, do Yeah, it? yeah, it's the, it's the whole blood flow of the bicycle. Yeah, if you don't change that, what's happening is every time you're, you're pedaling, you're just pushing that dirty stuff through everything. It's going into the gears, it's going into the, you know, the shifters. Okay. Yeah, best thing to do is I'd say about every 500 miles, you're gonna wanna have that cleaned out. It's just easier to start from scratch, get it all cleaned out and go, you know, and then a lot of people come in for a professional change, but you can use, like they make bike oil, but you can use vegetable oil, because a lot of these companies, honestly, they sell bike oil, but it's just vegetable oil relabeled. Do you go over a lot of hills and stuff? Uh, not when I can avoid it. Yeah, yeah, then you could probably just get away with baby oil. Yeah. So there is a channel down in the frame? That's yeah, it's the circulatory system of the bicycle. I still haven't seen the valve. Oh yeah, the valve, it's really hard to see. It's really flush, but you'll feel it when it's upside down. Yeah, it's good to just kind of pump it in there. I usually do this for a few minutes once I change the oil out. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this uh, dirty oil and I'll be right back. But you can pump that in if you wanna get it smooth. I'll be right back. Still don't see a valve. 